this now, together welcome our Archbishop and all our priests as we sit the processional hymn, Glory and Praise to Our God, which can be found on page 38 of the Sudhina Movement. Thank 
Father Tra, I entrust this church to you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us go within these gates, even friends, enter his courts with songs of praise. For let us all now join in and sing All Heaven Declares on page 39.
mercy, dwell in this house of prayer. May the grace of the Holy Spirit bring us, for we are the temple of His presence. Glory to God in the highest. And extend your hand to all those who call upon you. May your word here proclaimed and your sacraments here celebrated strengthen the hearts of all the faithful. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated and sing and listen to the word of God. of Christ before you and achieves your salvation. A reading from the prophet Nehemiah. Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, consisting of men, women, and children old enough to understand. This was the first day of the seventh month. On the square before the water gate, in the presence of the men and women and children old enough to understand, he read from the book from early morning till noon. All the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a wooden dais erected for the purpose. In full view of all the people, since he stood higher than all the people, Ezra opened the book. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. Then Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people raised their hands and answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and face to the ground, prostrated themselves before the Lord. And Ezra read from the law of God, translating and giving the sense, so that the people understood what was read. They gladdened their heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. Chen 
成为一般圣洁的司祭，与奉献因耶稣基督而租约天主的属神的祭品。这就是经上所记载的。看，我要在西优安放一块精选的、宝贵的基石，凡信赖他的，绝不会蒙羞。所以，为你们信赖的人是一种荣幸；但为不信赖的人，是匠人弃而不用的石头，反而成了孤脚的基石，并且是一块绊脚石和一块使人跌倒的磐石。The Samaritan woman said to Jesus, "I see you are a prophet, sir. Our fathers worship on the mountain, while you say that Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship." Jesus said, "Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father." Neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation comes from the Jews. But the hour will come. In fact, it is already here, where true worshippers will worship the Father. In spirit and truth, that is the kind of worshiper the Father wants. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. We thank the Lord. For this great gift, we thank all of you and all others who have contributed towards the building of this church. And we especially thank Father Lawrence Stewart for all his efforts in planning and materializing this church. May God. Bless and reward all of you. We will consecrate and dedicate this church to the honor of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. May this church, our girl, in new in a, uh, a new parish community, a community eager. Promoting a true devotion and love to the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, especially through the daily participation in the Eucharist celebration, Eucharistic celebration and holy hours of adoration. The readings just wait to ask. Exposed to us the purposes of the church. In the first reading, we heard how the word of God was so solemnly proclaimed by the priest to the people, and how the people received the word of God with all their joy. Crying out, Amen, Amen. A church is first of all a proper place where God's word is proclaimed to God's people for their instruction, assuring them God's love, concern, care, and actions for them. In the second reading, 
Peter speaks about the people of God as a spiritual house, a spiritual temple of God, built on Jesus Christ as the foundation and the people of God as walls. Therefore, a church such as this symbolizes the spiritual temple, the spiritual house of God built on Jesus Christ and his people. Jesus as the foundation and we with Jesus built on him as a spiritual building where God lives in us, where God listens to our prayer, where God is our Father and we worship, we worship him as his sons and daughters and his people. Let this church be the place where infinite will come. Come with your hearts open, not only your ears open, to the word of God which is proclaimed to you in an official manner by your reader. And not only open your heart and receive the word of God, but really take hold with you so that you will live the rest of the day, the rest of the week, your life in accordance with that word of God. That word of God brings light to your life, brings joy to your heart, and brings everything that you need as God's children to live your life in this world. When you come to the church, to attend the Holy Mass, be sure you are participating in the worship of Christ with whom you offer God a worship that is from your heart, that is from your mind, that is from your whole being. Truly, you worship God in spirit and in truth. The Holy Eucharist the Blessed Sacrament, the Eucharistic celebration, as Church always believes, is the source of the life of the Church as a whole, as the source and life of every individual Christian. I pray that this Church, by its name, will inspire you to appreciate the great sacrament of the Eucharist to attract you, to draw you, to draw you to come to attend the Holy Mass if possible, even daily. And I hope also that there will be holy hours of adoration that give you more opportunity to come and to see Jesus, to visit Jesus, and to speak to Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, I rejoice, with, I rejoice with you today, and this is my wish, and this is my prayer for you. Please rise before we dedicate this church to God, we now profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, God from life, to God from true God, begotten of me by the being of the Father. from the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified, 
and pounds his highness. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, just the living under the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. He believed in the Holy Spirit, the Lord gave him life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped in glory might. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic Damascus Church. We are only one Protestant for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead. In the life of the world, come. Amen. My dear people, let us ask the saints to support our prayers to God the Father Almighty, who has made the hearts of his people faithful temples of his spirit. Please remain standing. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, and Saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. Saint Basil, pray for us. Saint Martin. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint Franc Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa.
of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and all the saints, make our prayers acceptable to you. May this building, which we dedicate to your name, be a house of salvation and grace, where Christians gathered in fellowship may worship you in spirit and truth, and grow together in love. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Father in heaven, source of holiness and true purpose, it is right that we praise and glorify your name. For today, we come before you to dedicate to your lasting service this house of prayer, this temple of worship, this home in which we are nourished by your word and your sacraments. Here is reflected the mystery of the church. The church is fruitful, made holy by the blood of Christ, a bride made radiant with his glory, a virgin splendid in the wholeness of her faith, a mother blessed through the power of the Spirit. The church is holy, your chosen vineyard, its branches envelop the world, its temples carried on the tree of the cross, reached up to the kingdom of heaven. The church is favored, the dwelling place of God on earth, a temple built on living stones, founded on the apostles, Jesus Christ is cornerstone. The church is exalted, a city set on mountain, a beacon to the whole world, bright with the glory of the Lamb and echoing the prayers of the saints. Lord, send your Spirit from heaven to make this church an ever holy place, and this altar a ready table for the sacrifice of Christ. Here may the waters of baptism overwhelm the shame of sin. Here may your people die to sin and live again through grace as your children. Here may your children gathered around your altar celebrate the memorial of the pastoral land and be fed at the table of Christ's word and Christ's body. Here may prayer, the church's banquet, resound through heaven and earth as a plea for the world's salvation. Here, may the poor find justice, the victims of oppression to freedom. From here, may the whole world close in the dignity of the children of God enter with gladness your city of peace. We ask this, so Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
Light of Christ, shine forth in the church and bring all nations to the fullness of truth.
in the night he was betrayed. He took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, came to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is the body, this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. They have proclaimed the mystery of faith. Father, only to mind the death of your Son and your power of salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and the ready to greet him when he comes again, we offer you in thanksgiving his holy and living sacrifice. Look with ever on your church as often, and see the victim whose death has reconciled us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by his body and blood, may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. <coughs> May he make us an everlasting gift to you and enable us to share the inheritance of your saints. With Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all your saints, on whose constant accession we rely for help. Father. May this sacrifice, which has made our peace with you, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Pope John Paul, Peter and John our bishops, and all the bishops, with the clergy and the entire people, your son has gained for you. Father, hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here, those who dedicate this church to you. May it be a place of salvation and sacrament, where your gospel of peace is proclaimed and your holy mysteries celebrated. Guided by your word and securing your peace, may your chosen people now journey through life, arrive safely at their eternal home. There may all your children now scattered abroad be settled at last in your city of peace.
gold from every Europe and grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your crosses, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Do not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and beauty of your kingdom, for you live forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Because of each other, the sign of peace. For those of you outside of the church, please stay where you are and the university ministers shall come outside to distribute them. I would like first of all to speak in Mahsa, in words, to the Raku the Lord Jesus Christus, kepada semua umat yang hadirin hari ini, saya mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih dan mudah-mudahan Tuhan berhati semua kita. Istimewa pula saya mau berikan 
special terima kasih pada yang mereka yang sudah memberi pertolongan untuk siap sediakan semua untuk hari ini terutama pada bisnis dulu pada Herahan dan pada JP dan kemudian pada Sinjin pun ada memberi sumbangan kepada kita semua pada masa minggu sembahyang bisa bisa hari kamu sudah putus lumus satu minggu kadang-kadang pulang pukul tiga bukan petang pukul tiga AM dan lagi misi jentang dan muriel sudah sediakan buku sebuah ini dan saya terima kasih kepada mereka Dr. Jerod Jindo dan Kuaya pun sudah beri peluang sebanyak-banyaknya Madam Florence Fu Miss Liyao dari Kuala Lumpur dan Si Wong Nishis Fu beri sepengan pun menjadikan semua bunga di dalam gereja ini Risa dan Panamas dan semua semua warden dan semua orang lain tidak sebelas pagi memberi sumbangan kepada saya dengan untuk kemuliaan Tuhan saya terima kasih kepada orang semua terima kasih亲爱的兄弟姐妹们首先向我特别感谢你们教我今天特别为我们龙宗的无圣典礼今天举行无圣典礼龙主教我们长期内的所有的教友们跟我本身特别感谢你我也感谢你我去他的汉人汉人的JP最近呢发了新闻里也给我们每一个礼拜天当我不能举行以下的时候呢他们牺牲自己为了举行以下大祭给我们的长期的所有的教友们感谢他们你是哈里刚陪了很
to especially dedicate this church most blessed sacraments. And those fathers from far near who have come here to celebrate with us. And all of you, I say a very big thank you. The presence here gives me much encouragement and inspiration to go on. I wish us all to say thank you to all those benefactors, donors from far and near who have given so much help for the last 10 years or the two complete complex comprised the church. The community center, the Grotto of Lutz, and the Father's help. Without your help, it would not be possible to build this complex. Every Sunday, I've been squeezing you, perhaps sometimes quite dry. Every Sunday, you put your contribution for the last 10 years into the collection box, and every cent that is spent is this. I want to thank each and every one of you, big and small. And in appreciation of what you have done, we have elected plaque outside there to remember your kindness and your generosity and asking God to reward you and our best Father to love and protect you. It would be an injustice for me not to mention a few people who have done so much for the last almost one month in preparation for this day and yesterday also. First of all, I would like to mention Father Stephen Chin, uh, Father Vincent Chin for preparing the liturgy and practicing the altar boys and meticulously preparing this booklet for the ceremony of today. Vincent, thank you very much. In the past, we have Father Handrahan, Father Jeppy, and recently Father Stephen Dean who have come here to build you spiritually every Sunday, to feed you with Jesus himself. Especially remember Father Handrahan today for his great love for all of you. Mr. Harika Akhnoswe. For the last almost two weeks, he has been here almost every day, climbing up Belfry with Mr. Russell Newton, Singapore, despite the rain, and also staying in the church at 3 o'clock in the morning for going his food even, in order to prepare for yesterday's official opening as well as today's dedication. Hari Thank you And to Ms. Stephen Tan You know Who has prepared Even so much time Prepared this book club I say thank you very much to Dr. Jeremy Law and the Combined Choir I spent so much you have about us even people from Africa this shows the catalogity of the church <laughs> and I think there is also a gentleman as well as a lady I think it is from the place where they had Bosnia and Slovenia, I think.
Yaruti, thank you very much. And to Florin Fu and Li Yao, who flew all the way from Kuala Lumpur to help. And also Nancy Wong, Nations Fu, who really is coming this day to let me speak and stand for the last couple of days to say a very big thank you. And Teresa Panabas, who have been so worried about how many chances to use, how many this and how many that, we say thank you very, very much. And to all of you, brothers and sisters, to the chairman and all the various organizations it is too long to mention, you are not forgotten. I want to say thank you very much and welcome to our John Delta. Once again, thank you very much and God bless. Thank you, Father Shaw. Now, Father Lon Shaw will present a souvenir to His Grace, Archbishop Dato Sri Peter Chu, as a token of appreciation. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. The Lord of earth and heaven has assembled you before him this day to dedicate this house of prayer. May he fill you with the blessings of heaven. God the Father wills that all the children scattered through the world become one family in his son. May he make you his temple, the dwelling place in of his Holy Spirit. May God free you from every bond of sin, dwell within you and give you joy. May you live with him forever in the company of all his saints. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Amen.